Well, it is because um, it, it sort of condenses what you're trying to do most broadly in security. If you don't um, trust all the people you live, you know, within driving distance of your house, then you put locks on your door. Um, that's trust minimization. Um, so instead of thinking of security in terms of um, specific things like locking your door, encrypting messages or so forth, you can think of it broadly as trust minimization. And so when you're designing a currency, for example, not only there's several sources of abuse. One is somebody can steal your money from you, but the other is that the person issuing it can inflate it like, like has happened so frequently during the history of fiat currency. And so we want to reduce all those potentials for abuse in any dimension. Um, and so that's, that's the philosophy of trust minimization.